Hey homies, I'm back. I'm the Ace Exclusive, and we have another Battlefield 4 gameplay on this time on Zavod. So it is another another sniper round. Um, you'll see everyone dart for this roof. Um, there's basically two buildings. The other team will go up on the other building, and they'll try and get on the top roof. And likewise, this team will do it. And you can see them over there now. I, I don't know why it does that. It does that slanting thing. I thought I took it off, but it just got me killed. So pretty average. What they've ten, what they've done in though, in, in one of their more recent updates, is that they've basically allowed people to shoot open the hatch because on the top top roof. So when you, we got to that roof up there, you can go further up to another roof, and. Um, Basically, you used to be able to close the hatch, and no one—if you could just put a spawn beacon down, no one can get up there. And that was that. You controlled the roofs, then you controlled the game. Um, because everyone would come out the buildings, no one would stay in the building to hide. But so, as you can see, the hatch is open. There's someone up here. That, I can't. I don't know why I can can't get up there. It's a bit frustrating. And now I've just thrown a grenade, and I'm probably going to get shot. Oh, damn it! Yeah, they put their spawn beacon up there, and it used to be a case of that you could have shut that hatch, and no one would get up there. Obviously, they've luckily and they've changed that, and after probably a lot of complaints, because I think everyone was moaning that. How I missed, I do not know. Right, he's down, but he's going to spawn straight up there, so he know, he's going to know where I am. Right, I've got to be quick on the triggery. I'm getting shot. That's not great. It is best to ideally go on that roof, but I just can't be dealing with the campers for camping in the game for the entire the entire ten ten or so minutes. It's just. But that said, I am going to try and get up there. If it don't glitch and stop me from going up the ladder, which is the way it did just now. I look there on that roof too. Hmm. Right, see if I can. He's going to see where I am and come for me. Right. Getting shot eventually, this thing will. Mm, that sucks. That sucks, fucking sweaty balls, mate. They're all up there and all on the other one as well, so we'll have the whole team on the other side. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go until I've cleared the area. I'm gonna run up there with my assault rifle and just clear the roof. Obviously this map you sort of expect Expecting to stay in one place on this map, it does, like I say, get frustrating though. Because unless you sort of have control of the roof, then yes, they basically control the map. You use them binoculars, you can see everyone. There's no way of hiding from that. You can see their spawn beacons. So on. How I didn't kill him then, I do not know. I usually take a couple of shots in there. And he's usually down. He needs help. Share the love. Right, see. So give me give me some ammo, because I've obviously ranked up a bit the bar at the bottom for helping out my squad. Yeah, anyway guys, what I'm gonna talk about is um 
what I basically have come to do and expect from from curating a channel on YouTube. Um, now I know <laughs> from I obviously follow certain YouTubers, quite popular ones. Um, we've uh, they've obviously grown considerably with like millions of sub subscribers. Now, obviously from like they've started at a time years ago when there wasn't as many people on YouTube trying to create a channel and the competition wasn't as high. So they've obviously gained subscribers and now it's it's at a point where it's more difficult to obviously progress. But that said, I ain't, I'm not here to for the for the money or it's just a case of I play games. It's nice to to share my gameplays and and have some have a hobby because if you haven't got any hobbies or you've got limited hobbies or you only do certain things or certain times of the year maybe then there's something and it, it's nice to learn new things like I've been sort of learning how to use like the Photoshop and to create all my um, my channel art which is fairly basic but sort of I have been doing it myself not paying for someone to do it um, and the same with all the video the editing the um, sort of the thumbnails like getting all the obviously all the music and that for the uh, intro and the outro and all the imaging and there's a lot obviously to do and take into account um, so it's actually quite nice to learn that uh, there's so much that I haven't even touched the surface on these programs um, that is, I've, I've actually used pretty much used tutorials from all different websites and right he's down right destroyed that I'm going to try and take this sucker out and this one Right, and they're going to come back. Right, that's what I was saying before. You could close the hatch and it would stay shut, but now you can shoot it. One down. Makes it easier to, sh to deal with one person. Oh, hit him as well. Look at them. Camping noobs. Um, yeah, anyway, as I was saying, it's a case of, I was watching tutorial after tutorial on YouTube and, and just basically figure out how to do these things myself and it is quite nice to, it feels like you've accomplished something when you've done it. Um, so even though I'm nothing like special or <laughs> I basically just started out, I've only got a few subscribers. Um, few views nothing major and some average gameplays it, it like I say it's something that I I'm playing these games anyway I'm not doing it for um, for the, any for any money or any sort of um, attention or anything like that it's just a case of it's, it's my hobby if people want to watch me then fantastic um, and I hope to have a channel which is where I can communicate with my subscribers and even eventually play with my subscribers and get sort of gameplays going and and if you've got a channel even better um, and I hope that this might inspire some some people that have thought about it before and never done it um, that's been me for about four years I've always wanted to to do something with YouTube and never have and I've been following people when they were fairly fairly unknown on YouTube I was one like I'm not going to mention names but sort of people with like a few hundred thousand subscribers have now got millions I was there following and watching their videos um, and sort of never did never did anything I thought oh, I'd be interesting to do that and never did it um, but now I've obviously took the plunge and, and I'm 
so far really enjoying it. Don't feel that um, if you're shy or nervous or anything, just but you want to do it, do it. For me, I'm not. <laughs> I was always thinking, oh, how am I going to commentate and talk for 10, 12, however many minutes of a video without sort of repeating myself and being dull? But you'll be surprised at how much you pick up. You you watch people sort of go back to go go to the popular channels and the popular people that obviously dominate YouTube and go to their first videos and they're totally different to what they are what they are now. Because it's confidence. You're starting out um Obviously, you're learning what to say, how to how to obviously talk to people, and um, basically how to fill your channel without being just like dross. It's just, you don't want to put people to sleep. Um, so yeah, obviously you improve. So I hope that if it's something you want to do, then don't hold back. Just go and do it. I've I've watched. I've been watching a lot of videos sort of um on YouTube about sort of how to promote your channel and um how to grow on YouTube and so on. Um and I was I was watching a uh, video of um Modern More Negro. Um <laughs> let's just say he keeps it real, it's it was quite funny. Um but yeah, yeah like, and there's obviously a couple of videos, the, the the gaming lemon and drifter were both helpful videos. They did sort of tips and that on there on how to grow um, and gain subscribers, and then hopefully bit one day build a community. Um, well, like I say, we can we can sort of get together and play these games and right. So just do like your research and, but you don't need. You don't need a lot of equipment. You could start off with if you <laughs> if you just want to do console gameplays, get an Elgato, which is something I've bought, um, and make sure you've got a laptop or a computer, and then just start that way. Get your gameplays on there. Who cares if you've not got? 10 Moabs or it doesn't it doesn't matter as long as you're out there enjoying yourself that's all that matters it doesn't don't worry about trying to copy others down the same road and have gone out with a 10 man team and got a million kill streaks or so on just be yourself um and enjoy it and that's all i can say so anyway guys cheers for tuning in and i'll see you in the next video <laughs>